presenting Transforming Your Classrooms. Please put your hand together for David Truss. I believe that this is an extremely exciting time to be an educator. And today I'm going to share with you seven ways that I believe that you can transform your, your classroom or continue to transform your classroom. And before I begin, I want to mention something that we may not always think about. But the fact is that students don't choose the curriculum. And that gives us incredible power because how we deliver, what we deliver, what we choose to focus on, that is something that completely can transform what a child's experience is. And so I believe that we are agents of change and we can truly transform education for that reason. A little about me, Vice Principal of Quilm Open Learning and Inquiry Hub Secondary. Inquiry Hub Secondary is a small school of choice where students bring their own laptops and have a blended learning experience. But one of the key things about their experience is that half of their day is spent choosing to do what they want to do, whether they focus on class work, the online work, or if they work on their own inquiries. So here's their schedule, and the red section is times in their day when they get to choose how they spend their day. And so with that, um, one of the things that they like to focus on is the inquiry, and we can actually give them credit for the things that they study in inquiry because we have two courses that focus on the competencies of learning how to do inquiry, proper research, and so on. So it doesn't matter what their topic is, they actually get credit for the, co for the work that they're doing. And those core competencies aren't just a focus in those two classes, they're across the board. Our, our teachers try to work uh, on cross-curricular themes, and they focus their different subjects into these comp competency areas so that they have commonalities and make it a legitimate um, a blending of the, of the different courses. We won the Ken Spencer Award for Innovation in Teaching and Learning uh, last year, and it came with a $7,000 prize. And what we did was we had the students decide what are we spending that money in to help them with their inquiries. And Jan and Wynn from the ministry recently came, and we did a presentation for her. And these are the kind of things that students uh, presented on. All of these are like passion projects, things that they were interested in and wanted to share. So now look. I realize that not every school is that flexible, and there are things that get in your way. And there are things that get in our way, too. And so one of the things that I hope you realize are the seven things I'm about to share right now are things that you can do in every single classroom. And the first one is to give students more choice and allow them to follow their passions and interests. And one way to do that in any classroom is Genius Hour, where you focus on the, letting them choose things that they want to study and giving them time, and that's messy and scary. One of my amazing teachers said recently, I don't know what half the top topics these are that I'm talking about, but I'm comfortable in the not knowing. And I think that that is an excellent thing to role model for students as they pursue their passions and interests. Another thing is that we can give students more of a voice. A great thing to do is if you're blogging, is Sue Waters with EduBlogs runs the, a blogging challenge every year where it helps connect students with commenting and reading each other's blogs across the world. And we need to give the students a legitimate audience for the things that they do. And these two online colleagues of mine have reminded me that it's not just important to give them an audience, but make sure that students actually have something authentic and powerful to say. And that's our role as, a, as an educator. We want students to connect to local and global communities. Uh, Christy has her students help homeless people connect with their lost loved ones. Vicki Davis and Julie Lindsay have the Flat Classroom Project that, collects, that connects classrooms all over the world. We need to give students authentic leadership opportunities. And a colleague of mine, Dave Sands, likes to say, I teach leadership, not followship. And I, oftentimes we say we're letting students lead, but we don't truly let them lead, lead. And we need to make sure that the leadership is authentic. And we need to give students more opportunities to play. I love what Gord Holden does with immersive technologies, where students are actually creating worlds and creating aboriginal um, uh, historical sites and doing things like that. We can help students truly connect to learning networks because they're so powerful. But the last thought I'll leave you with is we need to connect with learning networks ourselves. These are some Canadian educators that I've only met one to four times, but I learn from them constantly online and it's so powerful. And so I ask you, what if we connected to educators that are doing all these amazing things right now? across the province, across the world, across your district, across your hallway. There are people doing amazing things, and I encourage you to connect 
because I believe that if we connect with these people already doing amazing things and transforming our practices, then we, right in here, are the ones that will truly transform education. Thank you.